Oh, Bryony Rust here, speech and language therapist at Salt by the Sea. And if you've been here before, you will know that I'm a big fan of helping children to improve their communication. And my favorite way of doing this is finding some irresistible toy or fun game that we can play together that sparks a child's spontaneous interest in communicating, giving them something worth talking about. So when a mum asked me for some toy suggestions the other day for her toddler who is just learning to talk, I thought, why not make a video for all of you and share with you a few of my toy suggestions, especially as we're starting to creep into gift giving season. So if the grandparents are asking for a few gift suggestions this time of year, or you've got a keen auntie or uncle who is wondering what to buy your child, then why not share with them a few of these suggestions for something that your child might like. We've got 10 today, so let's start this whistle stop tour. My first suggestion is a teepee or a tent. Cozy small spaces that are just toddler size that us grown ups can feel a bit oversized for. They can spark exploratory play and imagination. And if your little one invites you to poke their head into their special teepee space, then you've got a perfect opportunity for some conversation. My second suggestion would be to create a story sack for your child. So you could choose one of their favourite books or a new one that sparks your interest at the bookstore and look through it and pick out some favourite props that you could create a bag with that book to give them. What's really nice about story sacks at this age is that it really opens up books as a play and conversation opportunity rather than sticking closely to reading from the beginning to the end. So you can simply explore the book together and maybe pull out a few favourite little actions or words or sounds within the book and it helps us grown-ups to be a bit more flexible and led by what your toddler is interested in. My third suggestion is pop-up toys. These are a perfect little stocking filler or you might find one that's a bit of a bigger grand toy but anything that has a ready steady go element to it. I really like the pop-up toys that are a little bit tricky for toddlers to figure out by themselves because then me as the adult has that perfect excuse to really be part of the play with them and help them figure out how to pop up the toy. My fourth suggestion would be a sensory play bin or a messy play kit. This is another one of those gifts that you can have fun collecting and gathering together rather than buying straight off the shelf if you feel so inclined. So I would suggest finding a nice big sturdy tub or box and adding to this a few bags of different options of some fun exploratory things like coloured pasta or magic sand or sparkly confetti. And then you can add another bag of some favourite figures. Perhaps your child loves Peppa Pig or Dinosaur. So you're effectively giving your child a make your own explore kit. And so having all of these things in separate bags means that they can choose what they want to fill their tub with and you can have fun exploring and chatting about what they create. My fifth suggestion, which is actually really difficult to say, fifth, fifth suggestion is some nesting toys. So you know the classic Russian matryoshka dolls that all nest inside each other? I have learnt from lots of toddlers that these are actually a really fun flexible toy. Now when I approach this toy as a grown-up I consider it just as a straightforward puzzle. Find the smallest to the largest and fit them all neatly inside each other. But many toddlers over the years have taught me that there's a million different ways that you can play with these things and you've got the opportunity for some great language in talking about size difference as well. Tiny, huge, bigger, smaller, etc. You can also hide different bits and bobs inside each of the different dolls and so that can be a fun hide and seek game as well. Okay, we're halfway through our 10 toy list. How are you doing? Are you sticking with me? Okay, number six would be a mud kitchen. I absolutely love a mud kitchen because there's great opportunity to play regardless of what language level your child is at. So if your child is very young and just learning to talk, you can simply explore with this and you can do lots of fun sounds like splash and bang and you can do lots of pouring and emptying, which is a great thing for that age group. And then as your child gets older, Older, and they're starting to do some more structured role play activities, mud kitchens work great for that as well. A mud kitchen has the added advantage of being outside where you have 
endless opportunities to model some really lovely language with all of the exciting things that are out in our natural environment where you can use lots of descriptive language and you can watch to see what your child is interested in. My seventh suggestion would be a hundred things book. So you know those kind of fabulous books where you just have loads and loads of things on each page. These are a really great conversation starter and a great opportunity for you as the adult to be led by what your child is interested in. Children at this age love to point to the pictures and look and watch you name them or comment. This kind of naming is perfect for children who are just learning to talk because they get lots of opportunities to hear words modeled to them and to hear all of those individual sounds that you're modeling to them. Even better if you're you're doing it inside of that teepee that your child just got as a gift. No gift suggestion list would be complete without animals on the list and animals are my eighth suggestion. They are a great one for playing around with all of those animal sounds which is really good for early speech development and really good fun as well. You can take turns to copy each other's animal sounds, you can see if you can hide one and then find it and make the animal sounds. All sorts of fun can be had with it. My ninth suggestion would be boxes. You can find really fun fancy boxes, special treasure boxes and fill with fun bits and bobs. You can ask your local electric shop if they will donate you a big range of boxes. These are fun for junk modeling, for hiding inside or hiding things inside, depending on how big the box is, and just a great opportunity to play and make sounds together and play around with lots of words. My tenth and final suggestion would be a trip. Your time with your child is far more valuable than any toy that they will have. You are the most valuable thing to them so if you want to take them up to the forest or a walk to the park or your local cafe for a jam donut whatever it is i bet you will have a fantastic time together and a great excuse for conversation so what did i miss i bet there are lots of other toys that your toddler loves and that have created lots of opportunities for the two of you to play together let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your suggestions and if you would like a list of all of these toy suggestions to perhaps hand on to a grandparent then i'll pop a link below so that you can sign up and have that emailed straight to your inbox. Very easy to then forward on to anyone who might be asking you for some suggestions. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and of course I'll be back here next week so I'll see you then, okay?